Our unconditional forgiveness has responsibility attached. We who have been completely forgiven must be completely forgiving of others. Christ's cleansing protects the abundant life that God planned for us. Do you know what the devil's plan is? Have you thought about it? Every day we face a conflict, two competing plans. God's plan for us is to have an overflowing and abundant life. It's a life where people say, I don't even understand how you're like that. But, and I don't know if it's possible, but that's really what I've always wanted. I've always wanted to have stability. I've always wanted to have peace. I've always wanted to have uh, just that, that assurance that, that what I'm doing is significant and meaningful and whatever. That's the overflowing and abundant life. Jesus said, I'm come that you might have life and have it abundantly. But Satan's plan is to kill our hope. Do you know what keeps us full of hope? We don't mind living in tents on this earth because we have a building not made with hands, reserved in heaven for us. A, a, a city that has foundations that is not going to burn up or have a mudslide like in China or a, a wildfire like they just had unbelievably in California. None of that can affect it. But that's our hope. We don't have it here. You see, the way that we have hope is we don't have our tent stakes pounded as deep as possible on this earth. We have, rather, our tent stakes pointing toward heaven. And that's hope. Satan wants to kill that hope. He wants to get our minds off from being citizens of heaven. He wants us to be earth dwellers. In fact, the book of Revelation describes the people that are destroyed in the plagues of the Revelation are earth dwellers. This is their planet, and they're going to do everything for this planet. They don't care about the creator. This is what they live for, this planet, not the creator. Satan wants to kill our hope of heaven. He wants to steal our joy, like the couple that told me about their Bible knowledge friends that are the most miserable people they know. Satan has stolen their joy. I know they had it if they're saved because the Holy Spirit wells up with joy. And Satan wants to destroy our usefulness to God. And that's what spiritual warfare is all about. It's not about Frank Peretti demons breathing sulfur with big, big yellow eyes. It's not being useful to God. And did you know a vast majority of Christians are not very useful to God? They're of so earthly-mindedness, they're of no heavenly use. And that's what spiritual warfare is about.